Yeah. I want a house in the hills I pay big bills for. I ain't got a pocket. I want to empty out my wallet. I want to stop motion, stand still. Wallace and Gromit. I want to talk more endlessly. I want to neurotically vomit. I want more dollars for my mama. I want a palace in Prada. I want a Gucci bag where I can store my sorrows and hardships. I want to gold plate my partners. I want endless tomorrows. I want a lot more than I got right now. That's the problem. You could give me every little thing I'd ever want. But I'd never have enough till the day I had it on. Yeah. You can give me every little thing I ever want, but I'd never have enough till the day I had it on. Oh, I see what you want, baby, but it might be just a little more than I can give you. Oh, second thought, I want a dollar for everyone. Not just my mama I wanna hit the ball out on random pedestrians I want my questions to be answered to my brain board and questionless I want more self-assurance I don't ever want a second guess I want so to Shut the fuck up Yo, what is good YouTube? Tuning in real quick um, Cause I wanted to share this with y'all man I'm at, I feel like I'm at a part I'm at a part right now in my journey um, Where it's kind of like a breakthrough moment You know, it's kind of a mental battle And really just kind of overcoming myself um basically trying to figure some things out right so last time i tuned in with y'all let y'all know i was out here apartment shopping right still am um <clears throat> but i'm kind of having a mental blockage right um because part of me is like yo do do you really want to pay like 16 16 17 1800 dollars right now in rent being an entrepreneur with no steady income. I mean, no, I've got steady income, but no guaranteed income. Yeah, let me put it that way. Um, and it's like, this would be my first time ever paying this much rent as an entrepreneur and ever. No, wait, this is the most rent I've ever paid and I'm paying it as an entrepreneur. Only been in my business for a year now. So it's like, it's kind of a mental battle because I'm like, I could also be smart, go home, stay with my moms and stack that $1,600, right? So it's like pros and cons, right? This is where you take out, you do the pros and the cons. And, <clears throat> you know, I was reading a passage in this book, um, Seven Laws to Spiritual, Spiritual Success, Spiritual Wealth, something like that. I forget. Um, but pretty much it was talking about talking about something that I'm familiar with and that I've heard before in podcasts, and that's the fact of being in a comfortable place is the worst thing that you can do for yourself, right? Because that leads to stagnation and you want to live by faith and create your life pretty much what I got from it was you want to live life by faith. You want to, um, you want to chase the uncontrolled, but create it with manifesting and knowing and having faith in yourself and your power in yourself. And that correlated with me right now with the decision that I'm making because I could go home know that okay i don't have to pay rent i don't have to spend that eighteen hundred dollars a month right and i could still do my business i could stack my chips which is facts but i know that when i go home i'm not able to focus like i really want to and part of me getting this place is for me to be able to really focus right really focus on building the things that i'm working on so that i'm not being distracted right i've got baby bro i've got moms i've got conversations I don't have my own room, right? So I'm working in the dining room, right? In the kitchen, literally, in a one bedroom in my apartment, you know? So I don't really have that, that laser focus that I need in me with my attention span and my subconscious of procrastination. It's like, I'll distract myself as a way to get out of it, but it's also like there's distractions around me. Ooh, that's transparency, I think. I think that with me, moving into this place and having that expectation of knowing that I'm about to be coming out at 18, 
Uh, and with having that extra focus and having that, just that space, that clarity, I'll be able to 10 times what I'm doing right now. You feel me? Cause I don't have that. I'm just like here, there. I mean, I'm decently here, but it's just like, I don't know. I need to be isolated. It's kind of scary. I need to be isolated. I need to be able to have, no, not isolated. I need to be able to have structure and consistency. I don't know what it is, child, or maybe I'm making up excuses. I need to just focus. I think that's what it is. Wow. Yeah, man, Chase, Chase that. So that's what's making me think like, okay, I need to just go ahead, get this one bedroom. Just go ahead and just go ahead and do it. Pull the trigger and hone in. Cause so I've always, I just need my, my space. I feel like I'm there. I feel like I deserve it. Y'all might be saying like, why are you going for such an expensive place, 16, 1700? Like you can get a place for 12, 1300. That's a fact. That's a fact. But the way that I'm thinking about it is if I'm paying 13 or 1400, I might as well pay 16, 1700 and have it. Ooh, maybe that doesn't sound so smart. A gym, an office. Yeah, I don't really need all those amenities. Maybe I should just get a nice little 12, 1300 spot. I can just sit up here and work. <laughs> oh, shit, y'all. I'm, I'm hitting submit. Yee. Imagine, y'all. It's like, Y'all watching me do this little purchase and in like six months, I'm gonna be buying whole cribs and doing the same shit. So this is just growth as a little baby entrepreneur, baby steps, baby steps. But I figure I'll show y'all 
the journey and part of the process. So yeah, man, we get into this young luxury apartment and uh, we finna be out here exquisite, sipping tea on delay. Let me know about.